Vacay budgeting tips, five steps to setting up a vacation budget, even with inflation on the rise. Ready for your next trip? COVID-19 has all of us itching to get out of the house and people are finally back on the move. So let's talk about where you wanna go on your next vacay and how to budget and manage that budget to combat rapidly rising prices while still traveling. Hi, I'm Coach Hill, financial educator and money coach. I work with some of the best athletes in the world and thousands of people like you and me to help them get their finances into shape. Remember to smash that subscribe button for our latest finance tips and videos Plus, grab our free money guides, including our budgeting toolkit, linked down in that description. It'll come in handy during this tutorial as well, so go grab it. Let's dive into the five steps you need to help you plan and manage your next vacation. Step number one, where do you wanna go? Decide on a destination and a time of year. Knowing is half the battle because hitting Hawaii during the rainy season wouldn't be fun. Neither would hitting Vail in the summer if you plan to enjoy the powdery ride down the mountains. Planning your vacation based on your destination and time of year will help you set the stage for success with your budget. You have a time frame and a place in mind. Now it's time to do the work. Step two, research, research, research. Put in the work and research your trip. Understanding the cost for your vacation and knowing your destination plus the time of year will help you determine your price point. Considering the various options and platforms for travel and stay, look at the options and pick the best price for your specific trip. Start with lodging. Do you want to stay at a hotel or an Airbnb? Crash on a friend's couch or camp outdoors? Next, are you going to fly or are you going to drive? How are you getting to the destination of your choosing? If you're flying, what are the average ticket prices per person for your flight? Pro tip, go onto a few different travel sites and direct airline sites, compare the prices for the dates and times for the same flights that you're looking at. You'd be surprised how much you might save by simply doing a little research. If you're driving, road trip. Look at gas prices, which right now are insane. Check the mileage to your destination and back. Consider vehicle depreciation and adding miles if it's re a really long drive. Also, check to see if you need your car serviced before you go. Account for everything so nothing surprises you. Now, if you are flying, how are you gonna get around when you get to your destination? Rental car, rideshare, Uber, walk? <laughs> Compare your costs and see what makes sense based on what you're doing. For example, if you end up in Las Vegas and you're on the strip for the weekend, chances are taxi is gonna be your best bet since the cost to rent a car and park is much higher than just using a taxi to get around. So pay attention to the cheapest way to get around and the place that you're going to go because none of us wanna pay a lot for transportation. Which brings me to food, my favorite category in the vacation budget. Will you be cooking or going out for all your meals? If you're in a hotel, chances are you're going to need to plan meals out during the majority of your trip. If you're camping or at an Airbnb, or crashing on a friend's couch, your food costs could be a bit less expensive, but you still need to account for the meals no matter where you're staying. Next up, activity planning. When you get to your destination, what are you planning on doing? Do you need money for events or activities, prior reservations or tickets? This is where you really want to plan your trip and account for the money you need to do all of the things the vacation calls for. And last but not least, you're spending money. How much money do you want to have in your pocket to spend while you're out and about on your trip? Depending on where you are, where you're going, and what you're doing, you may need some cash or maybe a little more cash. Prepare for this and account for what your vacation looks like. If you want to spend a little extra money on your trip, plan for it. Step number three in the process. Plan your vacation and review the cost. Now you have your time of year and your location. It's time to plan the actual length of your vacation and how much you plan on spending based on your research. Let's break down an actual example of a five-day vacation for a group of four headed to Disneyland. Flight costs, $1,400, $350 per person. Airbnb, $750 for five days. A rental car, $225 for five days. Food and drink while you're there, $1,750 for five days. And park admissions, $1,750 for five days. Plus, you have to have some spending money, so $500 in your pocket. Based on these numbers, the total vacation cost we should be budgeting for is $6,375. Now this example could be a trip for a family of four where the family would need to save the full budget, or this could also be four friends headed down to Disney, splitting the costs equally at 25% per person. Splitting the costs with friends can make for a much more affordable vacation. Step number four, 
Set up your target savings goal based on your research. Now you have an idea of the cost. It's time to start budgeting for it. Add your trip as a line item on your budget and include a manageable monthly savings goal. If you're the family of four in the above scenario and you're trying to take a vacation in eight months, let's look at how this might actually work on paper in real time. Currently, our family has about $13.75 saved so far, which means they still need $4,000 for this vacation. If their goal is to take this vacation in eight months and they need to save $4,000, that's going to be $500 a month. In order to hit their vacation budget goals of $4,000 in eight months, they do have to save $500 a month. Now let's flip this to our group of friends. If they're splitting the cost equally between all four friends, each person would need to save their portion of the cost. It might look something like this. Trip cost is $6,375 divided by four people. Each person is responsible for $1,593.75. With eight months for each person to save their portion, they need to add a line item to their budget for $199.22 a month in order to save enough for the trip. As you can see, your vacation budget depends on what you're doing, who's going, and how you wanna pay for it. You've got your plan, you've set up your budget, and you've started saving. So what's next? Step number five, get out and enjoy yourself. You've saved the funds and now you can enjoy a stress-free vacation because the trip is bought and paid for. Remember, this is just one example. There's millions of ways to do a vacation, some more expensive than others. So factor in what you want to do, how you're gonna get there and how much you need to go enjoy yourself while you are traveling. Remember, the cost doesn't equate to the fun, so get creative. And most importantly, plan, budget, and enjoy your next trip. Remember to smash that subscribe button and grab our free budget, the link in the description. Bon voyage.